Welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hello. Welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Um, I'm so happy you're here and I can feel that there's a hair in front of my nose. So that's a good start. <laughs> Hello, I am so glad that you are here. I hope you are having a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in uh, the universe. I'm really happy that you're attending and that you are hanging out here with me. Um, it's really great to see that uh, a lot of you are already chatting in the chat over there and saying hello from England and from um, Germany, Seattle, Philadelphia. This is so good to see you all here. Thank you for hanging out. Um, so today we're doing another live version of Draw Tip Tuesday, which is always um, kind of exciting and a little bit scary because something is bound to go wrong. So, well, we already had the hair in the face. So that's, <laughs> that's one of the things that already happened, which is great. So today I want to talk about color. And um, I mean, I love color. I guess you can tell. Um, and uh, I, I do really like ink. Too. So I do like just to make drawings with just black ink and that's it, you know, line. I love line. But um, then I also like to color with watercolors, for example. But I also have this gorgeous set of colored pencils, which I really like to use as well. As you probably know, colored pencils are really um, some of my favorite uh, art supplies. And um, so today I wanted to use colored pencils, but I just want to give you an idea today to pick color palettes that you might not pick that quickly, maybe, because it doesn't make sense right away, perhaps. Um, so for example, it's something I picked up from, for example, a uh, Katja Tikova, she sometimes just picks three colors that she sees when she comes into her room, for example, and she's like, wow, there's a great green here and a lovely blue, and uh, that brown really matches up, so I will use those colors to draw this place. Well, that idea, I think, is really, really smart, and I also know that Sally Swindell, for example, also a teacher at Sketchbook School, um, she just picks color palettes from magazines. And that's what I want to uh, do today as well. Um, because if you go through a magazine, often things are quite nicely uh, styled in the photography. And, um, and then you think, why, why does this look so great? And that's probably because there's a limited palette. So that's what I want to show you today. Um, I want to start with actually an iPad drawing that I did, or maybe even two, because I've been looking into picking palettes and choosing palettes. Uh, let's see if I can show you this. There we go. Okay, so here's a... A drawing I did on the iPad and some people say wow is that actually um, digital art yes it is it is digital art and the great thing is um, I used um, a limited palette for this one and the strange thing is I will show you where I got that palette so I was on vacation and we bought a tub of yogurt brown cow yogurt. This is a half of a, um, uh, of a, a photo, but brown cow yogurt. And I really liked the color <laughs> of, the, of the tub. And then when I actually turned it around, I saw that they um, actually have, for the, for the printing, for printing the tub, they have this palette on the back of the tub. So I took a picture of it so so I could remind myself, like, I need to use this palette at some point. And I did by making this drawing. 
I only use those colors. I can show you the palette. Here it is, the brown cow palette. Can you see? It, I, I called it brown cow. So, <laughs> so there you go. And um, I might not have chosen these colors if it wasn't for um, the palette that I chose before even knowing what I was going to draw. So um, that is the basic idea of today. I have another one. This one is also um, this one is also done with a limited palette. Uh, let me see. I think it's this palette the actual default palette and um, I got that from uh, something I found online just a photo of coffee beans in different um, uh, um, uh, um, what's it called well it doesn't matter coffee beans and coffee and uh, a really beautiful background and those colors are so beautiful together and here very convenient are the swatches for this whole color palette so um, and then I, I put those colors in my palette here in um, uh, well in procreate and I'm I just use them for for this uh, for this drawing so that's a basic idea today um, using a limited palette and it's it's just a different way to challenge yourself a different way to um, um, be creative because if you don't have that pink or that uh, blue that you actually see if you're drawing from observation then you'll need to be resourceful with the colors that you do have and that makes you look uh, in a makes you look differently in a different way you, you will look around you in a different way um, so let me just grab a bunch of um, magazines just to show you how you can get that inspiration it's it's really easy um, and as I said I mean I found something online that already has you know this the different swatches but it's more fun to make your own swatches and to find your own color combinations because it will tell you um, your style, you know, your taste. You might like a certain pink and a blue together and someone else is way more into greens or, or very bright colors. So if you, if you create your own color palettes, you will create your own style and you will find your own style in that way which is a, a fantastic um, extra thing actually so let's start because often um, I think often you can find things in interiors and here's an interior design um, magazine and actually on the first page I'm already really happy because look at these colors that's amazing and then they actually already have the swatches done for you uh, so oops that was not what I wanted to do I wanted to do that yes um, so these swatches are already done this is these are all the colors that are in here so um, I can find these colors if I want to in my in my own palette and of course you can do this with uh, um, with watercolors or with markers or on the iPad um, but I'm doing it with uh, um, with colored pencils today so I am just going to find my way through these colors here we go there's a really nice yellow it's a bit of an ochre ochre ish yellow and um, I see a purple in there could it be a light purple maybe this and that's a white and there's this sort of pinkish maybe this is the kind of pink or maybe there's a brighter pink I don't know well, that kind of works together and then there's a sort of an orangey brownish color this might be it there you go 
That is pretty nice. I like that a lot. So that's one of the palettes that, uh, that, that I could use, you know? It's, it's just one of those... You could do a session like this, just going through magazines or, um, or maybe even in a museum. I, I saw some, um, a, a weekend ago, I saw some Van, Van Gogh, Van Gogh paintings that um, really inspired me because they had such beautiful greens in them combined with really nice bright blue. And uh, I took pictures. Um, to, you know, remind myself of that beautiful palette and use that someday. Maybe I will do that this week. And uh, here you go. Uh, I just, you know, you can just go through these pages, but I already did that on beforehand because otherwise this will take too long and I want you to draw instead of just watching me going through magazines. Um, I love this. I love this sort of toned down, earthy type of color so this could totally be um, a, a basic for me or a basis for me um, for uh, a drawing perhaps is this the color you know the the thing about this too is that you will get to know your um, your tools because you will get to understand okay these are the colors that um, that work and that don't work. And sometimes uh, a pencil looks like it be it's beige, but then it's more red, you know, or orangey. So that way you will really find, uh, find out about and get to know your colored pencils. I think that's pretty important if you want to use your colored pencils. It's good to know your tools, you know. Um, and there's these greens in here too. So there's a, uh, a sort of a light gray, which I love. And that type of green over there, what is that green? Do I have anything like it? Maybe something that's close to it? This is a grayish, yeah. Maybe I'll just go for this green. I think this is a fantastic palette and it reminds me of nature really. And that is actually the next thing I want to talk about because you can find a lot in interior um, design, in interior design magazines, in, you know, wherever you, you go, there might be a theme to a certain room you are in and that might um, inspire you. But of course, nature has the best colors. <laughs> Hello. So for example, this one, here, look at that. I mean, you, you, you just can't think of that by yourself. And this grows. This is actually something that is real. This is in the, in the ocean, you know. So um, let's find those colors. I think that's a really nice bright yellow there. And... There is a little bit of greenish yellow. And I see some nice greens. Look at those earthy kind of tones there. And then of course, the uh, I think we'll need another green here. This green. And then of course the very bright color of the sea. I think this might do it. Yep, I like it. So look at that, what nature can bring you. That's pretty awesome. Um, another one for nature. Uh, let's see. Did I just skip it? Yes. How about that? Birds. Birds are awesome for color. I mean, bright blue, red, pink, um, orange, amazing. I think um, if you want to find some bright colors, then um, go, f go look for um, pictures of birds, tropical birds. What about this? That's a different kind of nature 
picture. That's a gorgeous picture, by the way. Um, but it's a very limited pa palette. I mean, I see some red. I see a lot of red. And I see a lot of blue. And it's like cool blue. And many types of blue. But I think it's the lighter colors of blue. And there might be... I do see a little bit of a sort of pale yellow that I'd like to add. Look at that. And then there's darks too in this picture, like um, maybe a dark blue or even just um, a black. So as you can see, you can find so much inspiration from nature. And then, um, how about fashion? Look at those colors, just even on, you know, you don't even need to open this magazine. Look at that, bright yellow, bright green, black, and then her, um, her face, look at that beautiful brown. Let's, let's just capture this because I love this yellow and there's the bright green kind of green you can't really find in nature perhaps and there's black and then add a little bit of that beautiful brown over here and look at those eyes I can't I don't know if you can see but she has like blue eyeshadow on there and I really want to include that and it's really up to you what you include into your palette and what not I mean I could include this um, dot of, of this dash of bright pink uh, but I choose to just go for the colors on um, on her <laughs> and not the uh, uh, the lettering so yeah fashion can bring you a lot too and fashion also I mean the colors um, in fashion magazines are often also inspired by nature I think I mean look at these colors I love that can you tell I'm I'm getting really excited <laughs> in this exercise look at that and then the bright blue of her shirt. That's great. And then those, oh, you can't see that, but those are like a, a little bit of a, a, a yucky color, I think. I think this is it. Look at that. Just four colors. That's, I, I really like that. Just four colors. So it's easy. This is a simple exercise to, you know, look at what catches your eye. It can be as simple as just four colors. And like here, um, I see this blue, I see black and, and white and a little bit of gray and maybe that brown hair. That's perfect. Bright blue. Black. A bit of gray here and I do like to add some brown to give it a little bit of a more earthy tone again four colors and you have a fantastic color palette to work with so fashion is a really good one look at these colors purple and pink what else do you need <laughs> it's perfect and uh, what do we have here all kinds of green, bright yellow, bright green, dark green, and then the color of the ocean. I think that's just a really fantastic um, color palette to pick from. And there's one other thing that could also be really, really inspiring, and that's food. Um, I mean, look at the colors on this, on this, you know, on this cover already. Um, and then, you know, you can just go through that whole magazine and get really hungry because you're looking at gorgeous pictures of good food. But for example, this is already a palette. <laughs> it's a plate full of 
beautiful colors. I mean, I see, I see a light yellow. Um, I see a light yellow. I see a bright yellow. I see a uh, orange. But I also see uh, quite a bright red in there. And then, of course, green, lots of green. And dark green, too. And of course, I can also choose to go for these colors, uh, which is more beige, and, and add that. And I can add, you know, the gray from the background. But I, I choose to limit, limit it to this. So there you go. Um, interiors, nature, food. Here, one more. So next time you order a burger somewhere, instead of just eating it right away, take a good look at it and collect the colors. So let's just go from top to bottom. Uh, on the top, I see some blackish sesame seeds. I was going to say Sesame Street, which is really funny. Uh, sesame seeds, and I think it's kind of bluish. And then that bun is, um, I think, has a bit of orange brown and some yellow. No, that's orange. Yellow. I see lots of yellow in here too. And there's a greenish yellow, maybe this one? I don't know, that might be a mistake. Mm, that's okay. And then there's a very bright green of the salad. Or what's that called? Lettuce. I think that's it. So, you can find inspiration from anywhere, really for your color palette. You just need to really look. And if you look, then you see. So um, just a reminder, this was interiors. And um, this was nature. I can't, I can't even tell anymore what came from where. This is fashion. And this is food. And I would actually love an outfit like this. So this could go into the fashion category <laughs> as well. So, um, yeah, that's my tip for today, actually. And I have one more tip. Because, um, okay, I'll have to switch cameras. Because sometimes you don't really know um, where to look. Maybe you are in a white room, um, a box, and nothing is in there. Well, I hope that at least then you have clothes on, because if you look at your clothing, that might be your palette too. I mean, I've got this bright, it's kind of a bright pink, I think, pink-orange color. Um, uh, can I do this? Yeah. So pink, orange, e, and I am wearing blue jeans, light blue, I'll show you, yeah, yeah, got it, okay, blue jeans, and I'm wearing white sneakers, <laughs> with some black, so that is actually a palette, it's a three color palette and maybe I want to, you know, that the blue jeans might have um, not just that very light blue, but maybe it has also this color, just to give it a little bit of an extra. There you have it, it's my palette. I could also add the palette of, I could add some yellow because I'm wearing uh, this golden uh, little thingy here, or I could add the color of my eyes, brown, but I choose to go for pink, blue, blue, and black. Um, so what I can do now with this palette, I can make a drawing. <laughs> so let's do that. And um, 
Let's see, I'll just draw the clutter here on my desk and um, make a quick drawing just to show you how um, that you don't really need much to create your palette and use that palette. And you can even think about, well, I like this palette a lot, so maybe I just bring these four um, uh, pencils with me and I will draw with those four pencils all week, you know, and then see what you come up with in, um, in a week with just that limited palette. It will be um, an extra challenge for everything that you draw that week. Okay, let's have a look. Um, okay, drawing that clutter here, starting with a mug. I'm just starting with an outline. Of course, I can um, start with uh, shapes of color as well, but this is just kind of my go-to. I just love lines, so that's just the first thing that I think about, or I don't even think about it. I just start. Also, because I don't want this to take too long. Because I want you to start drawing soon. I got my keys here too. Can't even see what is over there. That's another key. I have many keys. Okay, this should be. This should do the trick. Just to show you the idea, there's actually another um, mug here. I'm drinking out of multiple mugs today. Because why not? And there's tea in this one. All right. So now, um, well, I could uh, keep on going with this uh, black pencil, but, mm, you know, I have these beautiful draw uh, colors over here. So even though that mug is not pink, I'm just going to color it pink because I can. And that water bottle... It's also not blue, but look at how beautiful those colors combine. I love that. Some water in there too. See, and this way you can also really use your imagination for the colors that you'd like to use. You don't need to think about, well, um, that is actually green or that is actually red. It doesn't matter because um, you decide what gets which color. And of course you can add color in the background. Um, if I wanted to, you know, if I want to still add that little spark of yellow because I'm wearing, that's actually good, I'm wearing that, uh, that golden necklace, well, maybe I do something in the background. I just add this, you know, the, the part of the table here. There we go. Gives it all a little bit of context. And my drawing is done. Maybe just a little bit of shadow for more context, context and a little bit of depth. That's really it. It doesn't need anything else. I like it. That's it for today. 
So um, I really hope that this gives you um, some ideas. Just look, at, whenever you enter a room, look around you and look at the colors and make a mental note of it. Like, wow, that's, that's an interesting brown with beige and um, yellow. Or maybe uh, sometimes you want to, you know, look at um, your, uh, I don't know, if you're in someone's kitchen, open one of the the doors of the cabinets and then maybe they have a very interesting palette for their um, uh, uh, plates and stuff like that. Um, anywhere you will find ideas for colors and especially if you head outside, I mean plants and flowers, they will just have that natural beautiful color combination that you can use. So okay, before I leave, are there any questions, maybe? I mean, I'm open to answer some questions now that I'm done drawing. Um, let's see if I can see anything here in the, um, uh, in the chat. Oops. Exactly, Shmoo. This is such a cool and subtle way to infuse your drawing um, with your environment. I can see this being great on a trip. Exactly. So if you are traveling, that is a fantastic way to uh, capture uh, the colors uh, that you see. And, and the colors will actually capture the mood and the, the colors will actually capture the environment. So yes, absolutely. Um, so true. Um, oh yes, Robert, uh, you are asking what that color pencil set is that is Caran Dash Luminance. I got a set of 40 and I have to say as you can actually see I don't use all of them and I'm kind of if you have a set like this I often kind of get a little bit um, precious about it but I also have a set that I just collected over the years, which is in a pencil case. Um, and they are just my favorite colors. So um, I use that actually more often than this box, because also if you carry it around in a box, it's not really handy uh, on location, for example. But I love these pencils. They are soft and sort of buttery and smooth, and they mix together well uh, also. So um, I'm not sponsored or anything, but um, yeah, I, I really like these, these pencils a lot. Um, yes, Nancy, I do like these pencils. Thank you for, for asking. Um, and how uh, Giselle is asking, how do I transfer a color, um, a color pencils palette to Procreate? I'm sorry, this is really hard to read. I don't know how to fix it right now. Um, can I fix that? I can fix that. Um, is this better? Not really. Anyway, um, well, what you can do, um, and that's what I do, started doing since I'm using uh, Procreate not, not so long just now. Um, for example, I was in the museum and I saw this beautiful painting. Let me see if I can find it. And uh, I just took a picture of it. And then when you import that picture, for example, this. Look at these colors. I mean, Van Gogh. He's just the bomb. Um, if you import the photo, then it's really easy to uh, pick the colors with the eyedropper in Procreate. Um, this is something that I, I'm not going to explain right now because I need to... Uh, I'm not that good at Procreate just, now, just yet, but... Luckily, there is a course that is all about using the iPad and all about Procreate and how to uh, pick your colors and how to create color palettes. Um, and uh, of course, you can find that at sketchbookschool.com. We're starting next week. Is it next week? I think it's next week or the week after. Um, so make sure to sign up for that and, uh, and then you can uh, learn to do all that. 
Let's see, any other questions? Um, Cynthia says that she's also putting her pencils in a case or two. Uh, yes, but if they are in a box like that, then they are um, laid out so nicely, so it's easier to find the colors. So I totally agree. Um, uh, let's see if there's any other questions. I don't think there's any questions right now. Um, I just see a lot of really fun comments going on uh, that were going on while I was drawing. Sorry, I missed all of that, but hey, you know, I was drawing. So if there aren't any other questions, um, I really uh, enjoyed this uh, 30 plus, 30 minutes plus a little bit. Um, I hope this really uh, gave you a little bit of an idea to use your colors. Jack is saying that he is afraid to use colors. And um, yeah, this will help. And don't be afraid to use colors because colors are fun and they will add to your drawing. They will add to your creativity and it will add personality to your drawings as well. So Jack, pick up your pencils and uh, pick some really fun, bright colors and go for it. All right, um, see, there are some questions trickling in, but I think everybody is actually answering each other's questions, which is great. So thank you so much for uh, watching. I really enjoyed this and um, I really hope that you will start and make your own palettes. You could even just, you know, create a collection, maybe in the first or the last page of your sketchbook. Um, with every time that you see a great color combination, put it down, scribble it down, and then you will create a library of beautiful colors that you can get back to if you need a spark of inspiration or a spark of color. So if you make anything with your limited palette, um, share it on social media. Use the hashtag DTT in action so I can actually see what you made because I'm really curious what kinds of colors that uh, what kinds of colors will actually spark joy for you you know they might be completely different from uh, my favorite palettes and um, also if you don't want to miss out on my draw tip tuesday videos then don't forget to sign up because i will send an email every week reminding you uh, of my draw tip tuesday video whether it is live or not um, there will be a link so you know where to find me weekly. And um, of course, I already mentioned it, the iPad course. I am going to take it because I am really still kind of a, oh, you know, dork doing all that and finding my way there. So I'm really looking forward to take that class with everyone else. And um, I hope you will join too. If you have an iPad and Procreate, then uh, you can join. And um, you can sign up at sketchbookschool.com. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day, evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. And I will see you next week. Bye.